Hi guys, welcome to this new video on Angular 17. In this video, I'll talk about how we can create forms. There are multiple ways to create forms. One is template driven form, then there is reactive forms. So this video is specifically for template driven forms. Okay, so now I'm going to open up this component. It contains nothing. I've just created this empty Angular 17 project and there is nothing in the HTML. I've removed everything and I'm running my project. You can see that it's not showing anything. There is an empty page. Okay, so in this component, first of all, I need to import forms module, which we used to do in app module file in the previous versions of Angular. But here we need to import that directly in a component where we need to use that. So forms module. All right. So now within this component, we need to define the kind of properties the form is going to have. We can have the username, email, password, phone number. So let me define the user for now. Let's give it the type any. I'm going to create uh, its type uh, later on. So I'm going to define name equals to empty. So by default, there will be a username uh, or a name you can say, which will be the empty text box. Uh, let's give it an email as well. All right. So just for elaboration purpose, let's keep these two properties over here. So in the terminal, let's quickly create an interface. Uh, rather than creating a new interface, let's create it over here directly. So interface user with a capital U and then we can define name and then email. Okay, so I'm going to use this user over here. All right, so let's run the project and see if there is any error here. So let's define like this. So there seems a component. I think I have removed something. So let's remove it and paste it above the component actually. Okay. Uh, otherwise there will be an error. So now I'm going to use this kind of data in my form. So before writing the form in my HTML, let me define a function submit form and this is going to receive form type and there is going to be an ng form data type from angular forms you can see above it has been imported um, and uh, then we can have a built-in method like form dot if it is valid or not it gives us other properties as well like you can see that this is the benefit of ng form Okay, it gives us a built in things like if the form is submitted, what is the status of form, if it is touched or not, if it is valid, a value have been changed or not, uh, what are the controls. So these kinds of different properties it gives us by default. So first of all here I can define if it is valid, then I'm going to simply log the properties. Uh, let's say a form dot value or this dot user because I'm going to bind these properties name and email with my HTML. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this file. I'm going to open up the HTML and in the HTML, let's first start off with the dev and let's write a user at the top and inside it, I'm going to define the form. Okay, so inside the form, I need to define uh, the ng form property. So I can use user form equals to ng form okay so and after that i need to use this thing ng submit and then i can write the submit form function which i've created and then i can pass the user form so this user form is of type ng form which i've defined over here that's why i have given the data type ng form all right and uh, we can use this uh, any name over here but I have given the user form name for this particular form so inside this div uh, I can define the label and this is going to be the for let's use the tab 9 AI assistant suggestions so let's see if it has given us a correct property so for name yes we have this name name and this is the name and then input type text 
uh, I can have an ID as well if you want. So let's give it ID name. And then ng model for the two way data binding. Uh, I've already created a video on it uh, that whenever we uh, are going to change the value from here, it is going to be reflected in this particular input text box. Or if we change any value from this input text box, it will be reflected back to the property of this particular object in our component. This is called two way data binding. And this is the user dot name user is being used from here and dot name is that property. So I'm now going to copy this div and I'm going to paste it below. So for the name, I can define it as an email copy ID is going to be the email and then this is going to be the email. All right. And after this div, I can have uh, another div you can say and then I can have a button of type submit and uh, let's give it a submit button text for now. All right. So now I'm going to refresh this. Let me zoom in. I've not any styled uh, this form, but that's fine. We are just learning how we can define forms. Now we need to test that if the ng form properties are working properly or not. Let me first of all click the submit. Okay, let's go to the console or maybe here. So you can see that it has not printed anything over here. Okay, so uh, because the form is not valid. So I'm going to there seems an issue here. I need to write email. All right. So now I can define Omer here. And if I click on the submit, let's see there is no output because the email cannot be empty. I've defined the type email. Let's give it the type email here. Okay. So let's refresh and let's name it. And also let's define anything like uh, this. And if I click on submit, you will see that it has printed these two objects because I have given the correct uh, username and correct email uh, because this condition got true. The form is valid according to the type which we have defined over here. That's why the form is getting valid. So I'm clicking this button again and again. So it's printing this. Uh, now this is going to print uh, as well if I define it something like this you can see that it is printing the name so the validation for the email is not being detected by this particular form so for that reason we can define our own format using the regex so I'm going to create another function let's say uh, validate email and its return type is going to be the boolean and here const email regex equals to and then we can have a proper regex for the email. If we if you search online, you will get a regex for any kind of thing. You can get the regex for phone number or you can si simply ask ChatGPT to write a regex for you for a specific pattern. So email regex test this dot user dot email. This is the functions. Now I can use this function for the validation. Uh, so I can use the property disabled equals to and then I can define uh, and this is going to return true if the email is valid. So I can define uh, it is going to be disabled if this is not valid. So I can define validate email function. All right. So let's go over here. Let's refresh. You can see that the email is not valid. That's why uh, it is showing uh, this uh, blur effect or you can say the disabled button. OK. And now if I define some kind of email, you can see that it is enabled now. So only this button is going to get enabled when the email is correct. So let's try to remove something. This is the correct email as well remove it. So this is not a correct. There cannot be a single character domain. So uh, that's why it has given this thing. So this is again that this 
is the wrong email format that's why this button is disabled and if i define here and i can define gmail.com and this is now printing this now we can have another uh, validation or directly over here so we can use user form dot invalid like this so if user is user form is invalid any of the properties are invalid or the email is invalid in both the cases you need to disable this button so let's verify that let's save this file let's go over here let's refresh and now you can see that if i define an email still the button is disabled the reason is that email is correct but the form is invalid that's why the button is disabled if i try to write something you can see that so this is how we can utilize all of these built-in properties and create this awesome template driven form and all the validation is going to be working automatically and this is the place where we can call some kind of api for uh, login user for sign up to a new user submitting form so these kinds of things this template driven form is pretty simple but reactive form is something which most people use so i'm going to talk about reactive form in my next video of this tutorial series of angular 17 so if you like my video do subscribe my channel and like this video as well do comment below if you have any question thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video